Uh, hey guys, uh, MC Gaming here. Um, in this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how to install the SDK gun mod, which is a, a mod that obviously you can guess by the name is has a load of guns, which is really cool. So a load of people have requested this, but I just wasn't around the time since uh, me and XGAMS have been working on a server for our subscribers. Um, we're not going to go into base detail, but there'll be another video up on that soon on both of our channels, so uh, I'd stick in tune for that. But anyways, back to the tutorial. What you want to do is go to the link. The links in the description. Well, on this you'll see the SDK gun mod. Um, you just it should look like this. Uh, you should see a load of these blue writings and spoiler. And if you go down to the download beta 1.6.6 version 5, which is the latest one, it could be six if you're watching this tutorial. You just want to go show, and you should see um, more links. So in here you should you'll see you need mod loader. You'll need SDK's mod loader MP. I'll put links to each of these uh, in the ad, in the, the links to these in the description. So, and all you need is SDK gun mods for Minecraft Beta 1.6.6 version 5. So once you get that downloaded and the mod loader and the mod loader MP, what you want to do is bring them to your desktop, and you should have these three WinRAR zips. You will need an archiver program for this in all my tutorials. So I'd highly recommend downloading the seven zip or WinRAR. So, once you get these three downloads, you're going to go to your Windows icon and down at the very bottom and in the search bar, you're going to go percent app data percent. And you should get Roman. So, inside your Roman, you'll see a load of folders, and one of them you want to click on is the dot Minecraft. Click inside that. If you want to go back and you want to right click on it and you want to create a backup, so you want to go copy and right click on your desktop and you go paste. And what you want to do then is also create a shortcut, so right click. Go send to desktop create shortcut and you can exit out of this the point of this is uh, it's easy for modern so all you don't have to go percent at data percent all you have to do is go into the dot minecraft and it brings you right into the dot minecraft folder so what you also want to do now is cl click on that and inside here you'll see the bin the resources save stats and etc so what you want to do is open the mod loader mp and you should see a uh, 8 base uh, class files. So what you'll do inside your dot Minecraft folder is go to your bin. Inside here you should see a Minecraft.jar. It might not be in the winner little icon. It might be into this little white one here. But all you have to do is if it is on a white one like that, all you have to do is right click and go open with Winner Archiver. It's not coming up for me since it's already on Winner. So all you have to do is go open. And sure, it once you do that, it should come up like this. So you can leave the Minecraft bin open. So you can just leave that aside for a minute, and you can put this full screen. So inside here you should see a load of folders and class files. So in here you want to delete a very important folder which is the meta line at INF. So what you want to do is right click on it. You want to go delete files. It says are you sure you want to delete it and you go yes. And now you want to get your mod loader MP. And what you want to do is highlight all the class files. And just drag them down in by the class files inside your minecraft.jar. Make sure it's on add and replace files. Press OK. What you also want to do now is exit out of the mod loader MP and you want to get your mod loader. And inside the mod loader, what you want to do is the exact same, highlight all the class files. So go back into your Minecraft.jar, get your mod loader, highlight all the class files. Drag them into the Minecraft and down into the Minecraft.jar by the class files. Let go, add and replace files, press OK. You can exit out that and what you also want to do is get the SDK mods 1.6 you want to open this up now and inside here you should see uh, two folders and a few properties files inside here you want to go back to your minecraft.jar get your sdk's mods folder inside here you'll see a minecraft folder so you want to click on that inside here you should see armor sdk and a load of class files so what you want to do is highlight all of them and go down to the page till it goes down to the very bottom make sure all of them are highlighted once you get that done you want to drag them down into the minecraft.jar by the class files and let go It'll extract and then say add and replace files. You press OK. Should I extract. Once you've got that done, what you want to do is exit out of your Minecraft.jar now. You don't need that. And you want to go back, go up to scroll back up to your SDK's mods, click on the folder at the very top, it'll bring you back to the beginning. 
with the, the main stuff in the folder. So what you want to do is go into your dot micro shortcut which you created at the start of the tutorial. And so here you should see bin resources, saves and etc. So what you want to do in the resources folder, click on that and you might see a few more folders. I just created a new Minecraft so uh, Minecraft dot Minecraft folder cause, and uh, so what you want to do is you want to go into your resources folder in the SDK's mods, click on that and you should see an SDK folder. What you want to do is just drag that in to the resources folder in the dot Minecraft. Let go. This is for the sound in Minecraft, uh, with the, the gun sounds, so that's your audio. So what you need to do is go click on the go back on your uh, SDK's mod folder, go to the folder at the top to go back and you should see four f uh, property files. So what you want to do is highlight all the property files go back to your dot minecraft where your bin and resources and saves are and you want to highlight you want to highlight all the four property files drag them in just in by it let go so you'll get four uh, properties files and all you do is exile that and exile that and you're finished so what you want to do now is open up minecraft and just run it and log in so let's put my password in again or remember password and log in uh, if you have any questions or you get any problems during this tutorial, all you have to do is uh, leave a comment and I'll try to help you. I was going to create a new world. Um, if you have any other mods you want me to do, I'll do them. Uh, just leave a comment, like I said, and if this helps, like it. Uh, and uh, I don't know what we should do to craft the guns, but um, as you can see, I'll try to see how can I craft something really quick. Uh, so hold on, I'm going to put my fancy uh, render settings off because that lags your game. Put down to normal. Um, uh, let me see, can I find how to make a gun? It's going to go back onto the web and see is there any little uh, help on how to do this. Uh, recipes, here we go, show. Alright, so if I could just make uh, something really easy to prove that it does work, that would be really handy. So well done, I'm just going to make one of them little wooden yokes just to show you that it does work so all I think I need is five wooden but of course I have to spawn in the desert which is not helping um, yeah so I'm just going to tell you a server to like get this uh, get to a tree uh, the server will be up by me and X scams for our subscribers it'll be up for 24 hours um, there'll be like I said there'll be another video on that and it'll be for our subscribers like I said um, but yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Uh, it'll be recorded. Some bits will be recorded. We just wanna see where our subscriber fan base is from. And uh, yeah, it'll be. I think the max players is ten, cause we're in we're living in Ireland and we don't have a good connection. So uh, yeah, we'll later on we'll probably do put up to twenty. We'll see how much our connection can hold. If it's bad enough, we'll just have to pay for internet. Um, that's we're getting enough subs behind us, but. For the time being, uh, it's going to be 10 players max, but the server restarts every 10 minutes, so you've got a chance to get in. Uh, so, yeah, all you have to really do is leave a comment on the video saying your username, and we'll check to see have you subscribed to us. And if you have, you'll be put on the whitelist, and there'll be an, it'll, there'll be a link to Xcam's Twitter. Uh, actually, yeah, there'll be a link to Xcam's Twitter telling you when it'll be on, and that I'll put a link on my channel too. So I'm just gonna try this now. I need to make a working bench, don't I? So let's make convert some into wood. Uh, I should have prepared for this, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't forgot about the recipes. Um, hold on. Uh, see how did I, how did they make this gun again? One, two, three, four. Is it another one? Hold on. Uh, okay. I meant it wrong. I need five pieces of logs. All right. Oops. Okay, so I need that. Now again, let's need one more block and we are finished. Uh, okay. So this mod is pretty cool, I must say. Uh, I know I say that a lot of mods, but there you go, a wooden stock. Uh, I'll probably have to make bullets for it, but as you can see, it does work, guys. Um, so please like the video, it helps, and comment, and uh, I'll put a link to all these, uh, to links to the server, uh, about the video when it's going to be up and stuff like that so i'll see you in the next video guys in the meantime uh peace